What's going on guys? Thank you guys for joining us for another eating video. First and foremost, I want to apologize in advance for the low quality video. We've been busy running around all day. So this is like a very, very last minute dish that we're doing. So I don't have my full setup ready. So I'm just shooting all my point and, cam point and shoot camera with my microphone <coughs> and such like that. Um, I'll get you guys some close up video of what we're eating here today with my phone here. But our main dish today is a moose tongue and I will show you what that tongue looked like. So this is a moose tongue right here and we ended up boiling it in hot water for almost two, three, four hours, two, three hours. And then, um, we, no, I think more than that. And then we ended up um, removing the skin. I'll show a photo of what it looked like. But now it's all boiled up. Uh, we didn't season it or anything like that. We're just gonna go ahead and cut it and dip it into some nice hot pepper. And we also have some chicken. This is fresh chicken, just kill. Fresh chicken soup. So eating very, very basic tonight. So hope you guys come along and join us for this dish. So first thing I'm gonna eat is the mousse before I go ahead and wash my taste with the chicken. So let's go ahead and eat the mousse tongue first. <coughs> so this is a very, very long tongue. You wanna try it first? Go ahead. Well, cut a slice for me too, I guess. <coughs> It's very, very tendon and very, very soft. So here's what it looked like. Yeah. And we're going to go ahead and just dip it in the pepper. Here, you should. Baby, you got it on your pants. Nay, nay, nay. Woo! It's good. <coughs> Looks, yeah. We boiled it. Well, we boiled it last night. <laughs> and then... It's a textured food. Yeah. So it's very nice in texture. Oh, no, and um, very textured and very good. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> I was telling my wife that this would be good for pho right now. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Actually, that would be really good for pho. Mmm. Very delicious. I approve. So a lot of people eat uh, cow tongue. And I didn't know about that. So now <coughs> we're eating moose tongue. <coughs> and we're also going to go ahead and dig into some fresh chicken. Baby, how did you cook this chicken? Tell them about how the dishes and the, the style. So, I mean, because we... <laughs> <more> rice. <laughs> yep, this was literally fresh killed chicken. This is <clears throat> us literally just got done cleaning, just got done cooking. <clears throat> Hasn't even changed out of my clothes. Need a shower. But, <clears throat> yeah, we just... After I'm done cleaning, it's simple boiled chicken. You boiled chicken or you cut it into pieces. Salt, pepper, that's all you really need. <clears throat> So I got um, I got two chickens for free today, mm -hmm. and then I went to Sutton to go pick up two more chicken <coughs> for the chicken diet. If you guys didn't watch that video yet, um, there's a full video just about that whole thing. Mm, this is like so it's so good right now. <coughs> it's getting cold, so you know broth hot like hot broth is good. Added some mushrooms in there, fresh picked mushrooms for my mom. Mm -hmm. She canned them, so I. Yep, I add the fresh mushrooms in there, and um, I just I also add like peppers in there, red chili peppers. I have like four of them to kind of add a little kick. So I haven't been sleeping much lately. So whenever I don't get a lot of sleep, I have cranker sore on my tongue and my my upper gum. So I apologize for that. It's very hard to eat, <laughs> and especially when you're eating something spicy, it just makes it more harder. Mm. Good. This is the best. Yeah. It's pretty good <clears throat> with the dipping sauce, huh? So you can season the tongue before you, instead of doing like what we're doing, we're eating it pretty plain. And the only season that we're getting is from the pepper sauce. Yep. <clears throat> so you can season it whatever way you want. <clears throat> it's very good. Mm. I also added the gizzards and the heart in, in this one, in this broth. So, I have all that in there. <laughs> the broth in the, in the mushroom is very good. <laughs> you guys all know me. I love eating mushroom. <clears throat> oh, there's no plate, huh? Plate for the bones. Mm. Oh, proper. <laughs> Put it right here. <coughs> mm -hmm. So we've been pretty busy with life. 
um, just work and just trying to get things done before winter starts. Also needs to get the house ready. <coughs> or the our, little one. Half of our living room right now is filled with all the presents from our, our baby shower. So I also want to say big shout out to everybody that came into our baby shower. <coughs> and big thank you to everybody that brought a gift. I actually have video of, of that, but I haven't <coughs> I haven't released it yet. Mm. I'm still debating if I want to get show you guys more content of my of the personal life, um, because I really don't want to post too much personal life. So that's the reason why you guys don't see a lot of stuff with my family, um, childrens, and stuff like that. So that's the reason why <coughs> you guys don't see a lot of that. Look at that. It's like fall off the bone. Oh, fall off the bone. It's we definitely like cooked the tongue much longer than we should have. But yeah. It, it doesn't hurt. It's really soft. It kind of reminds me of like pulled pork. Mm hmm. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. The t like the. What it looks like. It looks like shredded pulled pork. Mm hmm. But it's, it's quite good. <clears throat> I was thinking about putting the tongue on the grill, but I, I, I'm glad you didn't. That was that would have been too much work. I think it would have been too hard. Like the tongue wouldn't like <clears throat> it wouldn't cook enough, long enough. It would have been like kind of hard texture. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Mmm, delicious. Yeah, I like to eat it just like this. It's actually <coughs> really good. We should try. We should try some beef tongue next time. Does red apple seal it? Mm, I'm pretty sure. I've never seen it. Mm, you're just not looking at the right, um, <coughs> right section. They have a section for it. Like, you know, like pork feet or... So, I'm going to show you guys another close-up of the moose tongue <coughs> with it cut open. So, this is what the moose tongue looks like, <coughs> cut open. And you can see here, it looks just like, almost like pool pork. Very nice and jelly, super watery, juicy. And with our pepper. Mm -hmm. And fresh chicken. But it's so much softer and moist. <laughs> Not like pulled pork, where sometimes, you know, pulled pork can be a little dry. <coughs> I'm not really a fan of pulled pork. Yeah, me too. I had a bad experience with it when we were in, in Hawaii. In Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii, man. Mm -mm. I mean, pulled pork is like a thing in Hawaii, but... Hawaiians yeah. love pork, man. That's the truth. You I'm guys just know just not that. a big fan of pulled pork. Mm. I mean, we don't Asians really... Asians love rice. Hawaiians love pulled pork. Hispanic people love tacos, I think. Not to be stereotyped, but it's the um, truth. Honey, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't listen to him. No, it's just a thing. You know why it's like pulled pork is like a dish there? It's because, I, I mean, I guess that's just like a thing there. You know, it's just the... Oh, and the fish. There's like the fish. Wow, certain kind of fish in pulled pork. That's kind of like their signature thing. I don't remember fish. Just because, you know, Hawaiian. <coughs> delicious, delicious. They're an island, so that's pretty much what's the most available. <coughs> the mushrooms are really good. Yeah, I was debating if I should have added one more, but I think it might have been overkill. One more what? One more can of mushroom. <coughs> Here, help me eat the tongue. Yeah, I'm still eating it right here. This tongue is good if you eat it fresh. Yeah. <coughs> try to eat it fresh and try not to like save it. I think it'll so taste fine tomorrow. It doesn't taste gamey or anything, guys. It tastes normal. Mm-hmm. I don't think it'll taste too much different from like a cow tongue, to be honest. I don't know. 
Ooh, this tastes so good right now because I'm so hungry. Oh, yeah. Everything's good when you're hungry. Yep. Well, when you're pregnant and you just got done killing chickens and we kill after pork. work and We killed four, four rooster today. Ugh, that's a lot. <coughs> you eat one of those? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> all quiet now. <laughs> I'm enjoying this meal now. I don't want to talk too much. Yeah. I still have to crank a sore. That's how you know. It's like when you're tired <clears throat> and you're hungry, you just like a moment of silence. <clears throat> we actually don't talk this much when we eat. Mushroom. What kind of mushrooms are these? Um, freshly picked mushrooms in the forest <coughs> of Alaska. Mmm. Well, these mushrooms, my mom went to all the way out to Eureka to pick them. They're like a brownish, a brownish mushroom. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you can pretty much find them in in the, in the woody forest too. <laughs> it's crazy because I love eating mushrooms, but I have no clue what the names are. The only mushroom I know is more Morellis because I bought them on Facebook. But did we have any more? We ate all of them. Huh? Morellis. More Morels. Moro. Morels. I don't know. I don't know what they're called. Look, a wishbone. You want to pull it? <coughs> <laughs> Do you know how this works? Hmm. Wishbone. Huh. You make a wish, and whoever gets the biggest piece, the wish comes true. I think that's how it is. Just a fun little game. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. First time hearing that. <laughs> <coughs> oh. I will have to say something about the tongue though. The tongue, it's one of those food that if you eat too much of it, it does start to feel funky. <laughs> so definitely share it with somebody because right now, if I was to eat any more, it starts to feel funky because like I said again guys, the tongue is more of a texture food. You're going for the texture. Yeah. Just like mushrooms, you know? Mushrooms don't really have a taste, they have a texture. Right. So same thing with mushrooms. Um, tongues, egg rolls. If I eat too much in one sitting, it starts to taste weird. This might be my last piece. Mm. <coughs> that was a pretty big one, though. <coughs> but, but. No more crunk. I'll eat a little bit more, but yeah. You're right. It just start to get weird. I mean, just like with like other, um, you know, parts. Like um, pig ears or pig snout. Like, or skin mm -hmm. yeah and it's like there's a texture out, thing yeah there's food out there and if it's a texture food those type of food are usually meant to be shared with like a lot of people right <laughs> like this tongue hair would be nice if we had like a group of 10 50 people cut it up everybody gets a piece or two boom right <clears throat> that's kind of what we do when we get it moose as well um for like the heart we usually just grill the whole heart cut it up and then everybody gets a slice we don't split it up and give it one person one piece one person the other piece it's more of a hey everybody dig in everybody gets a little taste you know <laughs> you want to save the tongue for later yeah i am tongued out <laughs> chicken is really good it's very really soft um all the chicken all the roosters that we got today they're all under a year old so you always want to go for something under a year um their meat is the most tendous something over two years and three years to get really hard 
Yeah. Yep. <coughs> this one was the white one, right? Uh huh. It's the white chicken. <laughs> See, it tastes fine. You said the white one didn't taste fine. Uh, well, it's not bad. It's just, um, <coughs> I'm sure if it got any older, it would have been like really tough. Just like um, <coughs> the one I put in the freezer, that white one. That one's a tough one. Whenever we're buying chicken, we try not to go for. We try not to buy white chicken. Mm. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just for my chicken diet after um I, after I give birth, because we can still eat it. And just we've been killing chickens because um for my it's for my chicken diet, and so we're stocking up. Yes, yeah, the chicken diet. Watch. There's a video about it. We're not gonna explain about that. Yeah. So I'm just <coughs> stocking up, but they say that. Usually, you avoid like the white chickens. Oh, you want half of this? There. Uh, sure. Hold it, hold it. <coughs> this is the gizzard. The chicken gizzard. Mm -hmm. Is it the gizzard or is it the stomach? Um, <coughs> you know, I have no idea. I think. That's the stomach. Stomach? Yeah, I guess. Oh, the gizzard. Because that's where all the. I this mean. pepper is not hot enough. Well, go for this one. I didn't make it too spicy. We got a nice, sweet, salty uh, pepper here. And then we got an ultra spicy one over there. Yeah, it's like our little combo. If you want one more, it's over here. Very good, that's what it means. I want everybody to learn that word. It's my language. It means very good. <coughs> Something spicy just hit me. Uh -oh. <coughs> you inhaled it. Oh, yeah, that pepper over there is hot. <coughs> Damn. Mm -hmm. That's a good stuff. When you guys are eating rice, let me know if you guys finish every single rice. As an Asian person, you must finish every single rice. Back when I was a kid, I didn't do it. But as I got older, every single rice must be gone. Didn't you guys yell that? Huh? Did you guys yell that by not finishing? Nope. But you know how the parents said. In the Asian family. Parents always make you make sure you eat all your rice. You better eat all your rice, boy. Yeah, Asian parents are pretty strict when it comes to food. I remember my grandparents. Oh, this broth is good. And grandma and them would scare me if I don't finish my food. Yeah, I always finish every rice. I don't. Try, I try not to leave. Yeah, I'm a bit of a. Even when I eat like fried rice and stuff like that too. I try, but sometimes I don't. <laughs> Ooh, I'm full. Yeah, me too. Mm. Oh, ready for bed. You go shower, and then <coughs> yeah. There's that for spicy bed. pepper. It's good for your little tongue sore thing. Mm -mm. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. It took mine a if while. If you guys have any solutions to cranker sores or tongue sore, let me know in the comment section. Just go sleep. I only get them when I don't get enough sleep. I noticed that. And, you know, I try to get sleep, man. I Most, most of my average time is nearly six hours of sleep. Take some NyQuil tonight and like just knock out. Yeah, and that's how I cheat. If I try, if I want to sleep longer, I gotta take like shots of NyQuil. And that's not good. 
That's well, called, like you're that's called it drug abuse, isn't it? Oh. <coughs> Over the counter drug abuse. Oh. <coughs> well, that pepper is hot. <coughs> Woo. You okay? <sighs> it's very hard to chew. It's my tongue is funky right now. Mm. You gonna eat that? Mm. You can eat it. The last piece of meat. Gotta finish it. If you guys have never ate fresh live chicken and you have only ate chicken from the store, processed chicken, there's a big, big difference, guys. If you never ate live chicken where you have to go kill it yourself, you guys need to try that. I mean, some people... And if you guys need more info on that, feel mm -hmm. free to message me. I can help you find live chicken, guys. Well, I think there's some <coughs> people who... Well, there are some people out there selling chickens that can do the work for you. But it does cost a little bit more. There is a difference. Once you eat these chickens and you go back and eat, like, processed chicken... You can tell that it doesn't taste like real chicken. You can tell that it's been processed, whatever chemicals they put in there. It's crazy, man. They're a lot fatter. Store-bought ones. I mean, you know, of course, we still buy, like, chicken wings and party wings and thighs and stuff Even like those that. chicken taste weird. It doesn't taste like these kind of chicken. Yeah. And they're good for barbecuing <coughs> and stuff, but definitely when it comes to chicken. Fresh chicken, hands down, beets. Store-bought chicken. Any like day. I said, if you never try oh, fresh chicken, okay. if you never try fresh chicken, you just need to try it and then you'll see what I'm talking about. There's a big difference. Well, it's just like fish, salmon. Like, well, I don't know fish because mine is always fresh. Yeah, well, so when <coughs> I was meal prepping, like way a few years ago, I bought like packaged store-bought salmon. <coughs> yeah. It's just not the same. It, it, it gets kind of like, it just tastes kind of nasty after a while. And you can just taste like, like the process. How it's just, uh, yeah, definitely not as fresh. It just tastes weird. As long as I'm living in Alaska, I would never buy fish. I will always go and get my own fish. Until I move out of Alaska or I cannot access my own fish anymore, then I'll buy fish if I really need it. But for now, if you live in Alaska, go out, get your own fish. It's definitely worth it. This is it. I'm pretty much done. All right, guys. We just finished our food. Fresh rice, fresh live chicken literally killed like two hours ago. And a crazy moose tongue. First time in a moose tongue. Super delicious. If you don't have access to a moose tongue, go ahead and buy a beef tongue. I'm sure it tastes the same. But all we did was just boil it, literally just boil it in hot water for like two, three hours. Um, we just made some spicy pepper and for to dip it in. If you don't want to make spicy pepper, you can literally use it for any kind of dish you want, really. Yeah, barbecue. Uh, because it doesn't, sauce. Have, cause like I say, it doesn't have a taste. It's more of a texture. And hot like sauce. I said earlier, if you guys eat too much, it does start feeling funky. So. Make sure when you guys do this, you know, call your friends, call your parents, your families, your siblings, cut a piece for everybody and enjoy it as a appetizer, not as a main course. <clears throat> so that's it for this video. We hope you guys enjoy. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.